Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how we can add a slave node to a Jenkins. So we'll go ahead and first we need two things. We need the master server running Jenkins and also a slave server with Java installed. So I'll show you how we can uh, launch and create a slave. And then we'll go from there. Open this port and I'll let uh, let you know why I did that. Review and launch. So it's booting up, and uh, I'll be back after that. All right, so it's booted up. Now I have to connect to that. First, I'll name this slave. So now I'm connected to that. I'll be back when it's uh, done upgrading. Already I'm back and it's uh, now I'm gonna be gonna install Java. Oh good, uh, now uh, I'm going to create a folder called Jenkins. Now we're going to head back to the master. Go to manage Jenkins and global security configure. And here you go, normal it'll be disabled. So over here we're gonna put fixed. Um, this is the port number which I opened in the EC2 earlier. So I'm gonna use that number right here. You can use anything you want. Uh, put it as a fixed one and save it. Then on the next, uh, I'm gonna go to manage nodes. This one I created earlier, I'm just gonna delete it right now. And we're gonna say new node. Let's say slave one, permanent agent. Okay. Now we're gonna, this directory that we copied. We're going to log going to that. I'm going to write the directory address. Copy it there. So, 
and save it. We'll go to the slave one. We'll download this. Keep it. And this file. Keep. Now we have to SCP to the to this folder. We don't have nothing here right now, so I'm just gonna SCP. We have to change this address. That's what I used earlier. permission of this folder okay that's done I'm gonna change the other send the other file now So we should have it now here. Alright, so now we gotta copy this. We have to copy this line and run it in the terminal of the slave. We have this in this folder. And hit enter. It should say connected. There you go, it says connected. Now if you go back should be saying slave is added you can see right over here so that's how we've added a slave slave node to the Jenkins so hope you like it and thank you so much for watching